We are looking at how these companies manufacture their products. Manufacturing nowadays is people think that it's uh, dirty, think that it's dangerous, think that uh, if you go into manufacturing you lose your fingers. I'm in a megatronics class. This like shows me what exactly I want to do and it inspires me because I can see actual people doing the actual jobs that I want to do. Don't look at manufacturing as just this, it's, it's much broader. It's about somebody that has the ability to, 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 to understand a, a component spatially, to be able to understand how to program the robots. We're learning about engineering and manufacturing. Mechatronics really focuses on uh, um, uh, industrial automation. Well, we use a lot of math and science, and it's just a lot of technology too. Oh, aluminum, that's all machined aluminum on the back side of an iPhone. Like say, uh, it's, it's very involved with robotics. Now he begs you to help in the education of mechatronics. I have placed information vital to the survival manufacturing in this R2 unit. It's one thing to be studying engineering, but it's another to actually see it in action. The robots will pick it up, put it in the fixture, put the fixture in the machine. Today I've seen a couple of machines and different like wires and gears that make up the lights and how the lights work in the really bright flashing lights in that room. And that's what we're providing here is a, is a way for them to see that, to put that into a tangible form. It's really interesting. It's, it takes so much thought for these people to put into these products and it's just amazing how it works. And for us it's been very rewarding. We've seen some great great groups of students come through. That's like really nice of them letting us kind of invade their space. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us come. The force is strong in Williamson County Schools.